Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, playing with got their luckiest day they're ever going to come by. Normally, when I do a consultancy fee, it's at least one or two Lambos for a day, but this one's going to be free. Five absolutely insane ideas for Raid Shadow Legends to like bring Raid back to the top. Okay? We're just going to get straight into it because the first one is insanely good. First one is for Minotaur, we add stages 16 to 20. It gets a bit harder, fine. But also, something's lacking with Minotaur, right? So Minotaur's boring to do. Minotaur's a boring grind. And the reason for that is because you know exactly what you're getting out the other end. Yeah, it's, it's a scroll. That's it. It's a scroll. It's boring. It takes too long. Imagine if there's something else in the rewards. So 16 to 20, we add in the kind of RNG factor of another drop. Think about it, right? Everywhere else in the game, if you're in a dungeon, you've got the chance of gear, uh, per perhaps a chance of a shard. Even if you're in campaign, you're farming away, you've got the chance of a three-star chicken popping out the other end, or perhaps a piece of gear early on that you might like. You know, if you're in clan boss, you're farming it because you think you might get a good reward. With Minotaur, the reason why the grind is so dull is because you you know exactly what you're going to get. And it's not exciting to do. All you've got to do is press battle 55 times in a row and try and get yourself some scrolls. So I'm thinking 16 to 20, they increase the amount of scrolls you're going to get. That way we farm our masteries quicker. Yes, please. But also, one of two things could drop. Either a past fragment summon champion shard. Yeah, so one drop could pop out. And maybe you have something like a wish list within the 16 to 20, which gives you a higher chance of getting a specific fragment you want. Yeah, maybe, or maybe you select three and they're the only champions that fragments could drop for. How cool would that be? Or maybe they drop token trader gold or whatever this, this material is. Maybe that's another option from 16 to 20. There's a chance of another drop, another currency pops out the other end. You farm scrolls quicker. You've got that RNG buzz of, can I get what I'm after? Everyone's enjoying it. It's a bit, it's like a different game experience. Let's get on to idea number two, which is the token trader. Change the champions. Rotate them. You know what would just be the simplest idea, Raid? It's so easy. Six new champions, legendaries, and six epics pop up every week they rotate every week could even be every day but i like every week yeah the player has got the choice to lock one of those champions yeah so you could lock one legendary and one epic they will always stay locked until the until the player unlocks them so first thing is more choice more variety here second thing is a different way to get these tokens yeah Currently, it's insane for anybody. I'd, I'd love to know the stats on anyone who uses this. It would be insane to feed enough champions to get one of these. Absolutely bonkers. The worst thing you could ever, ever do would be to try and get a champion from the token trader right now. So either the costs have to massively reduce or there has to be another way to get token trader coins. There has to be. Either you can like feed epics in to get you a smaller amount of coins. That's one way. Maybe you feed rares, you get like one coin. There's got to be another way to get these coins other than feeding legendaries when you've added empowerment, when you've added faction guardians. It makes zero sense for anyone to ever, 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 ever use it. It's currently dead. That's idea number two. Change the champions up. Ability to lock them and then other ways to get the coins. Even if the coins could come from events and stuff like that as well. As an additional. Yeah, not replace it. A little additional. You get to the top reward. You get yourself 50 token trader coins. Honestly, it's an easy, easy thing to do. And I think the, the player base would love it. Simple. Okay, that's two. The third one. This really is aimed at newer players. I've got to be honest. Silver is a massive issue. 
it's a massive, massive issue, right? I'm playing on the free to play here. I'm on day like, what, what am I on? Day 40, right? I never have any silver. This is the most silver I've had probably in the entire game. And that silver will go if I level up like one, maybe two pieces of gear. I'm afraid to change anybody's gear. I can't do it. I want to change everybody's gear up. I can't afford to do it. It's insane. You're not actually allowing people to enjoy the game because silver costs are too high. So maybe it's something that, you know, early, earlier game players straight up have either like a 50% standard, maybe until they're like level 90, 50% off cost to remove gear. Less cost to roll gear. Like, it's a massive problem. It really is. It's a huge issue. Talking to Lady H, she never changes gear. Yeah, she's afraid to do it. So damn expensive. Okay, so silver costs need to change. Even on my main account, I'm not like flowing in silver. There's some people that just farm spider all day with tons of gems and stuff. Yeah, sure. That's different. But honestly, this is a major problem and something needs to change. Maybe you had a silver mine. Yeah, I don't know. A silver mine so that people get a bit like the gem mine. They might have to spend some gems to get it going, but a silver mine to gain silver consistently or change cost to, to level gear or change cost to move gear. Something needs to give because the silver costs are too insane. Fourth change is going to be in the... It's, it's tavern stroke shard pulling, right? If I pull 10 mysteries, yeah, we do the 10 mystery pull. Damn, got an extra kale and a, a dash cheek. What's he like? Anyway, if I pull 10, and I want to feed champions into other champions. I don't just want this six grid. It's no good to me. Damn, it's no good to me. If I want to feed up like an endless number of champions into someone, you should just let me go. Yeah, or, or like an all level one button or something. I just want way more speed in the tavern. Way more speed in the tavern to be able to do this. Yeah, if I want to ascend someone from zero to max i just want a cent a center fall button i don't want to have to like all of these little quality of life things should just be in the game already you know it's just it's a crazy one for me that we have to spend so long doing this tavern work yeah and that's what it feels like it feels like i've gone to the tavern job yeah i don't want to i don't want it to feel like that for me i want it to be a quick you know what i've, I've in, in fact eternal evolution steal this from eternal evolution they've got this kind of like quick evolve button Press quick evolve, all of the one stars become two stars. Yeah, they feed into each other, they just do it. I don't need to spend the next, you know, oh, okay, one, one, two, three. Yes, yes. Now I've got to wait for the animation, right? Okay. I don't want it. It's too slow. It's too slow when I'm trying to do some work in the tavern. That's number four. The fifth one, probably the best one. Your sword buddy. Yeah, everyone should have. One champion who's a sword buddy. This is especially aimed at trying to help new players out or trying to help players out decide whether they want to level out a champion or not. And the idea of this is, in the Guardian Ring, we have a new section called Sword Buddy. Basically, what happens in that place is you, you get to mimic the level and mastery setup of another champion. So let's say I'm making a sword buddy of Ronda. Whoever that sword buddy becomes, let's say my sword buddy is actually going to be Gembo. Gembo becomes level 60 with the same mastery tiers as Ronda. Yeah, he doesn't get books. That's the only thing he won't get for free. But basically, you have one champion on your account that instantly goes up to your sword buddy's level with your sword buddy's masteries. What this will do, it will dramatically help newer players that are trying to progress through the game. Yeah, because currently it takes so damn long to get a bunch of 60s together. And, and also what it will help with is you just pull a champion and you're not quite sure if they're going to help you out or not. Not quite sure if they're going to fit in your team. Uh, or you need to beat a specific Doom Tower boss. And you know you've got a roster of kind of like options. You put someone in as your sword buddy. All of a sudden you try them in that team. Did it make the difference for you? I feel like this is a brilliant idea. I feel like it's a great idea. Yeah, that champion comes in, you can put some gear on them, and they go straight into the fight. Someone's buzzing, they've just pulled a champion. Can I get them straight into the fight? Yeah, throw them in your sword buddy slot. They go straight up to level 60. 
They get masteries and you can use them straight away. The only thing you won't get for free is the bookage. Yeah, I know some people be like, give them the books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've got to do something for player room, something for us, right? I just feel like five great ideas. Playerium, take those for free. Uh, if you want to send a Lambo, I'm, I'm cool with that as well. But you can take those for free if you feel like that's the right thing to do. Whatever's morally right for you. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.